The uterine artery is a branch of the anterior division of internal iliac artery. It runs medially across the pelvic floor in the base of the broad ligament towards the uterine cervix. Close to the cervix crosses the ureter anteriorly. Then it ascends along the side of the uterus. At the superolateral angle of uterus it turns laterally, runs along the uterine tube and terminates by dividing into two branches, the tubal branch and the ovarian branch. Those terminal branches will anastomose with two similar branches from the ovarian artery. The tubal branches will supply the uterine tube. The ovarian branches of uterine and ovarian artery will form the paraovarian arcade from which numerous arterial twigs will enter the mesoovarium. Further on, those twigs will anastomose with each other forming a plexus in the ovarian medulla. Now let's indicate branches from the uterine artery apart from the two terminal ones. Ureteral branches arise as the uterine artery crosses the ureter anteriorly. Close to the cervix and the lateral fornix of vagina are arising the vaginal branch and branches to cervix. Along the side of body of the uterus, it gives off arcuate branches, which run transversely on the anterior and posterior surfaces of the body of uterus and anastomoses with their counterparts along the midline. At the superolateral angle of the uterus, the uterine artery gives off branches to fundus. Those are the branches of the uterine artery. Keep in mind that it supplies uterus, vagina, medial to third of the uterine tube, ovary, ureter, and structures within the broad ligament. The uterine artery enlarges significantly during pregnancy.